What's up everyone, I'm Matej and welcome back to a science-based fitness channel. Now, regardless of these crazy times that we're living, um, taking into consideration all my experience as a personal trainer, I think the biggest problem people have when they're trying to, I don't know, go into a direction where it, when it comes to their fitness uh, goals, their fitness objectives, is the fact that they don't have a plan. Not necessarily because they don't want a plan or they don't know they need one, but because they don't know how to do it and where to start with, you know? Uh, they don't have the knowledge for necessary to build that plan, you know? So they come to us, they come to a personal trainer, they want us to do uh, everything that they don't know how to. So that is like exercise technique, that is uh, nutritional advice, and also uh, establishing their training frequency, which of course is done after you have a discussion with them and uh, you figure out their objective, you figure out their, uh, their history with, uh, with sports and fitness, uh, you figure out if they have any injuries, um, it's a major role uh, is the age at which you are starting to work out. Um, other than that, it also depends on your weight when you start. Uh, so there are a lot of factors that uh, personal trainers should take into consideration when they're uh, signing on um, a new client, you know? So that's why people tend to look for a personal trainer. Hopefully they end up finding a good one. Um, now, I know that not everybody out there would afford, let's say, my services. Uh, and I often say that, you know, that's not necessarily why I'm doing this. That's not necessarily why I became a personal trainer. Remember, I had some humble beginnings and uh, I was really happy there until I just kind of like outgrew the place, you know? So I sensed that there was no room left for me to grow and uh, become better. So anyway, stick till the end and uh, I have a surprise for you and um, I get a sense that you will really enjoy it. It's a big surprise and uh, just stick till, till the end and you'll see what it is, okay? A few seconds back I was talking about a plan. Now. Let's say I'm not a personal trainer. Let's just say I'm uh, somebody who wants to start off their uh, fitness journey or they, I've been doing it for a while and just I, I need a little bit more um, structure. I need to follow a plan. I need to uh, have something to keep me focused, to keep me motivated, to keep me on my tracks, right? So how, how would I, a normal person, would go about that? Now keep in mind that I have the knowledge of a personal trainer and I'm gonna use that, right? So if I were in your place, this is what I would do. First of all, I would look, and that's, that's the easiest part, you know, because to be honest, it's a lot cheaper to eat healthy than to eat like, disorganized and snack and uh, you know eat pretty late pretty late and so on so forth so this is actually helping you from that point of view as well and this is the first thing you should look at then this is the first and the easiest way uh, and thing you could change right so what I would do is I would just take a look at my dietary habits I know it's been said all over the place and everybody's going crazy with these dietary habits and they're important. They're affecting your hormones, they're affecting your uh, metabolism, they're affecting your moods, they're affecting your um, sleep quality, your uh, lifestyle quality. So basically this is where you start, start off, right? So this is uh, ground zero, I think, yeah. So after taking a look at that, and let's say there are a few things to change or nothing to change from, my, from your point of view, right? But remember, I have the knowledge of a personal trainer and this is what I would do. 
I will start off with the breakfast, which I'm gonna be constructing it out of fibers and protein, okay? And I don't care what everybody else is saying or who's saying it, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. However, it is important because it gets you energy because you just woke up, you, you spent, let's say, six to 10 hours of uh, not eating because you, you, you are sleeping and now you need energy. Now you need something to wake you up, wake your organs up, uh, just boost yourself a bit in the morning, right? So in that sense, breakfast is important, okay? And also it helps you get something done. So you, 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 you ate your breakfast and you're done with it. You checked something off of the list, right? So that itself get, give you, gives you the sensation of something completed and motivates you towards your next task, right? Anyway, so I said fibers and proteins. Now let's say for fibers I would do, um, I don't know, maybe salad. That's really easy and you just wash it a bit. Uh, and I would do uh, some boiled eggs as well. Uh, it's you could have them um, boiled like one night before, or you could do it just then. It's it's so easy, and the whole thing is it's done in like 15 minutes tops. 15 minutes if you don't know what you're doing and you need to Google how much, how much, how long should you boil an egg, right? I don't know exactly. I always Google it. Anyway. Um, so I would do uh, boiled eggs depending on your objective and this is uh, this has something to do with the surprise I was talking about depending on your weight the number of eggs you should eat kind of like you know changes a bit um, but I would do boiled eggs with salad and maybe red peppers so I would get some nutrients electrolytes vitamins and fibers as well and it's a really light and quick breakfast really easy to do really easy to start on and i know you might feel like you're not hungry like it's so hard to eat that you don't need it you're not hungry you're you're so used to not eating that maybe you feel like you shouldn't but it's not true it's just that's just your body being used to your habits should you not quit smoking or drinking because you're used to it you see my point um, now moving on to uh, lunch which again is just should be like a main meal um, and you can already uh, have it prepared since like two days ago remember like chicken breast could stay in the fridge for three days no problem um, but let's say you want something fresh you can have any type of grilled meat um, I hate pork. I don't know, but just it, it, I can't. It's just so such a gross animal. Anyway, so I would have. I, I personally, I wouldn't do. I, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna eat pork. But I could have like turkey breast, chicken breast, um, some fish, and maybe uh, some beef. So any of these, no fat or as low as possible, and uh, just grilled. I sometimes don't even put any salt or whatever. It's just the plain meat because. I, I'm, I'm somebody that doesn't care that much about taste. So if I know I need to eat this, just I'm gonna eat it. Just, you know, it's not a big deal. And um, I found these um, vegetables, they come prepared, like frozen, and they have a little bit of butter in them. So sometimes I do those, they have like chickpeas, corn, broccoli, uh, what else they have? Um, baby carrots, and... Uh, cauliflower I think so it's five vegetables nonetheless and um, yeah so I do that and it's so simple and you've got like a you could do like so one box is either a bigger portion or two small ones so you take your pick you know depending on your weight again um, now if if you don't want that you can have those vegetables se like separate from the butter and then you can pick your own butter like high quality or whatever uh, butter give is good as long as uh, it's some quality one because um, 
fat has a, plays a big important role into your um oh, i have such a uh, it's escaped it's escaping me right now um endocrine endocrine system uh i just lost it for a bit so fat stores hormones it helps them uh move out throughout move throughout your body and uh, it stores vitamin as well and also it helps your body have a little bit of protection from uh, the outside temperature if needed and also it could be used as energy so keep that in mind no fat or any other uh, micronutrients if you take them out completely you're basically failing with your dietary habits and your diet or whatever you think you're doing so it's not good make sure you always have all your micronutrients in and uh, you're just playing with the percentages a bit if you want to lose weight or gain weight. Cool. So as I said, a little bit of uh, lean meat with vegetables and with uh, a little bit of butter. This is what I would do. And now for dinner, um, I could eat, well, cause I'm trying, like for me, for example, it's really hard to put weight on, like incredible, like incredible hard, you know? Um, I sometimes eat like, cause I have like, not necessarily cheating days, but like cheating weeks, you know? And for example, I eat like, I don't know, uh, probably 10 pancakes with different fillings. So, you know, I mean, I'm not getting any heavier. I'm not putting on any, any fat, so it's hard for me. That's why sometimes in, for dinner, I eat uh, either pasta with salmon or um, just pizza, but like homemade, um, or the same meal I had for lunch. This is not a big deal for me, as I said. So I'm not too concerned about what I'm eating as and what it's tasting like, as long as it's giving me the nutrients that I need. Um, you could, but again, depending on your goals, you could have some snacks. But now I'm not talking about snacking on some chips or snacking on some french fries um, I'm talking about healthy snacks like you could have some guacamole with red peppers not necessarily red peppers just any color just peppers uh, you could have some uh, hummus with some carrots that's really good and feeling you can have um, I don't know maybe some fruits bananas whatever uh, those are always good and actually recommend it put in, put in some fruits so this is what I would do from, uh, from a dietary point of view, right? Now, the second part, and this is the one where you're required to put in some money. And I'm talking about training, not necessarily training with a personal trainer, but just training by yourself. And this is how I would start training. I would start going to the gym three times a week, at least. Uh, I would probably do three times a week the first week and maybe the second maybe maybe the second but other than that I would go five times a week um, I would train for the first two weeks whole body training every single training session now your muscles are capable of something called synergy synergy basically is the ability of muscles to communicate with each other so let's say I'm doing um, an overhead push just like this you see here I've got my shoulders helping me I've got my biceps helping me I have my triceps forearms everything is helping me even my traps are working in even my lats because they need to support and stabilize right so all these muscles for just one movement but when you're going and you're just starting I would do like squats, burpees, uh, uh, pull-ups, push-ups, kettlebell swings, um, shitload of abs and uh, lower back extensions. Those are crazy important to build up that strength and that stability in your core so that your lower back spine is safe. That's basically where you have the biggest amount of problems when you're just joining the gym and you know, you're kind of everybody's tempted to go a little bit overboard with the weights. And I know this from experience, it's really, really easy 
and tempting to try and overdo it because the other guy is doing it or you know uh, if you're a lady and, and if you're a woman and you're going to the gym uh, every weight it's kind of heavy for you if just because just because you're not as used like as the guys to, to go to the gym so any way you, you, you're using could pose a problem that's why I'm suggesting that you do a shitload of abs and lower back extensions. Now, to be honest, doing abs shouldn't be that hard and you get, you get good results from it, you know, bikini line and all that. Um, but yeah, so full body training for the first two weeks and after that, I would uh, try and split it for uh, the next month where I would do one day for lower body one day for upper body and uh, just basically for everybody after let's say three months the objective changes if somebody comes to me and says you know uh, you know Matei I, I really don't care about anything else I just want to lose weight that's it I don't I, I want to lose weight I don't care about muscles looking good on the beach or anything else I just need to lose weight and then we're three months in and because uh, that client he or she is so motivated they're gonna be coming uh, every training session that we schedule they're gonna be working their ass off and they're gonna get great results in three months so let's say they, they lost probably like I don't know three months what is that like 12 kilos 12, 12 kilos works out at around 15 centimeters uh, in waistline and uh, Probably some bigger arms and you know some muscle mass on on legs glutes and chest um, And after three months, you know what this the same person that came to me saying that they just want to lose weight They're gonna say after three months um, Okay, I think uh, I think I lost enough weight and I, I'm gonna keep on losing as long as we're training so might as well go for adding a little bit of muscle mass so what I'm telling now what I'm saying now is that I would do full body training for the first two weeks and then for another month I would do each training session uh, lower body and the next one just upper body so I'm gonna switch it like this for another month and then I'm just gonna see where I want to go because I, I don't know you know things are gonna change a lot and uh, my perspective towards training and towards goals and fitness is gonna change so I'm, I might be inclined to go in a different direction you know so that's why I'm only going one month and a half ahead. And uh, yeah, so that's my plan. Uh, I would look at my dietary habits first, just build a solid, simple, that's the key, simple plan in the kitchen and then just pursue that. Uh, and you, you might step, you know, uh, sideways now and again, but that's okay. It's, it's no biggie, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna, you're still gonna, go where you're headed but just slightly slower you know so the rhythm or the pace at which you're moving is directly uh it's basically at the same speed how should i put it um balanced with the amount of effort you're putting in in, in the kitchen you know if every every two days you're eating i don't know let's say chocolate or whatever then you just kind of move a little bit slower but if you're sticking to the plan for one month you're just gonna see crazy results in that one month that's 30 days so easy man so easy and you would save money you would look a lot better and not just if you want to lose weight but even muscle quality and muscle density improves a lot as long as it's fed properly because your muscles are not going to be flooded by sodium and water your muscles are not going to be having that much fat um, between the fibers your connective tissue is going to be stronger and your muscles will be able to look thicker so you know you get plenty of advantages while spending less money this deal sounds too good to be true but i'm telling you it is um, after that in the gym two weeks of uh, full body training so basically three times four times a week I would train everything 
and I would use exercises like push-ups. I just mentioned them a little bit earlier. Um, tons of abs and lower back extensions, those are really important. And uh, none of my clients have lower back problems or any type of back problems. And the ones that have came to me with them and now they're better or don't have them at all. So, you know, I think I know what I'm talking about. And uh, after those two weeks, I'm just gonna keep on uh, coming to the gym, let's say four or five times a week and split my training sessions for uh, one day lower body and the other day upper body. And again, I'm gonna spend like, you know, around one hour, one hour and a half in the gym, depending on how much you're resting between sets. Although I would advise not more than 90 seconds. And um, stay anywhere between three to five sets, depending on uh, the exercise you're doing and, you know. Now, because you lasted this far, and uh, in the beginning of the, video, of the video, I told you that I've got a surprise for you. What I need you to do is share this video on your Facebook page and Instagram page. You can take like a screenshot of the video um, and just post it on your Instagram and tag me in both of those posts. And for everybody that does that, I'm gonna do a personalized training session actually training program for three days a week for one month and uh, we'll talk about dietary habits and we will establish a dietary program for you cool that was it for today don't forget to like subscribe and share this video guys thank you so much for watching see you guys online